So um, Jamila has a badly fractured or broken lower canine um, to the point where the pulp or the nerve inside the tooth is exposed and it's going to be quite painful. It's also um, a path for a lot of infection to come in and set itself up in the jaw. So what we're doing today is we're going to treat that with a root canal treatment and that way Jamila gets to keep her tooth completely functional and we stop her from getting a great big bad infection in there. And we approach it with care and ultimately our aim is to make these animals as comfortable and as functional as possible. So you kind of start to lose, um, you don't worry so much about the big picture in this case, you sort of start to think what can I do to make this animal feel a lot better. Um, let's say a normal cat's tooth, um, the entire tooth at best is probably about 25 millimeters this long. Um, a tiger's tooth you're looking at about 100 millimeters, so about 10 centimeters or so. so it's Quite large, and we'll see. We'll definitely be measuring it in, in the procedure itself. Jamila's tooth will look pretty much exactly as it does now. It'll, be, it'll have a little filling on the end of it, but we're not going to try and build it up again, uh, simply because nothing, nothing man-made is going to be as strong as her own tooth, and she'll just knock it off.